Hey friends, today's video is called Don't Be Fooled. We're going to talk about charts on a linear scale and how dangerous it is to ignore the money supply factor because you are looking at charts blind. The money supply dictates everything. This is why investing is hard. So I'm gonna draw a printer here. This is a printer. They're printing money, right? And there's a dollar sign. They're printing money. When they print money, the money supply goes up. So let's draw an arrow here. You have an increase of M2, money supply. And then it's going to travel, let's just say around the world. And here is a world emoji. And there's gonna be another arrow. And it doesn't go to every bucket in a linear way. You know, it goes to government people, their wages, they go buy iPhones, they go on a holiday, some people go buy drugs, other people go buy stocks. It disperses everywhere and it changes with the times. But if you take a long enough time frame, you can smooth all of it out and you can get the true picture. So, I am going to speak today further about a cute video by Blockchain Backer. I love his videos, man. I'm repping him hard. He's got some great analysis. He's a good man, good soul. And in these videos, he, he talks about, so the chart you can see here is United Health Group. And he also speaks about Boeing. And you can see how they've just gone parabolic, right? You can see how obviously the chart's just gone, whoa, we're too high, we're too high, yeah? And it's just an interesting tale because, I mean, even there's Boeing here, right? Boeing, and even that, look, these, these look really unhealthy and dangerous, yeah? But I have the charts here, and that's why this video is called Don't Be Fooled. So if we look at Boeing first, we're gonna look at Boeing. This is Boeing on a linear chart, and it starts at 1969. So you think, yeah, man, this is a monthly as well, monthly. So yeah, we can go in, man, we can go in. That's a deep, deep correction, 76%. But even here, right, you think, whoa, man, this is like big, big, dangerous parabola. Below it, United Health Group by itself. This is actually a giant, huge parabola, right? Monthly parabolic, whoa, looks like a crypto chart. You have to account for something juicy. Well, let's start with Boeing up the top. I have divided Boeing by the money supply, M2SL. And this is the monthly chart. And surprise, surprise, since 1969, you're up 2x. So what this actually says, so if you're wondering what all these zeros are, it's just to get a normal number for you to see on the right. If I don't do these, multiply it by a big, large number, then I can't see the proper uh, trading view. So just ignore that. Uh, it's just to get the normalized scale. But you can look at the percentages. I mean, since 1990, yeah, we're break even on the money supply. So the money supply, they print, so M2SL, average print approximates to like 5% per year. Yeah. So if you take any 10 year period, you start the money supply in year one, you go to year 10, it's around 5%. You know, sometimes it's 4.5, but you get the points, around 5%. So they're increasing the money supply by 5%. They're printing and dumping money and all the governments giving it to their friends. Don't worry about that. We're just looking at the charts here. You've only beaten the, okay, since 1969, holding this stock, you've only beaten the money supply by, a, man, a, a 2X. This is like really, really bad, really bad. But, United Health has done really well, yeah. So remember the United Health chart, parabolic, woo, since 2005. Oh my God, an 8x, that's huge, right? You think, ah, oh, it's gone, it's too big, parabola. 
Well, if you account for its money supply, here's a log chart of it. You go back to 2005, it's up 2.7x. So, how much do you want to sit here and talk about a big parabola chart when if you account for the money supply, this thing is like, it's done well, you know? I'm not saying it's not gonna drop. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, you can see this fitting in the world. Yes, it outpaced the money supply by a certain amount. And if we really wanted to look at strength, let's look at Tesla. I haven't seen the Tesla chart. I'll just draw it up right now. Here's Tesla. Since 2011, see, we have to normalize it. Times T. Here we go. Tesla. You know, Tesla's done fantastic since 2010. Around here, it's done huge, right? 33x. If you go on go on a long enough time frame, you'll be able to see this with many different charts. This is why, I mean, like, if you want to look at the big one, right? You have gold. This is this is how you can actually see gold over a long period. So this is how this is how you can tell since 1972, man, gold is literally break even. So gold hasn't done its job at all. This is them printing money, printing currency. Gold should be like, if I told you, like, okay, let's go back to 2019, right here. We're right here. And I told you they're going to increase the money supply by 40% in an 18-month period. You would say, oh my God, oh my God, 40% in one year, gold is literally going to $10,000. That's what you would think. And I would have thought that too. But, I don't know, puppeteers, the manipulation, the insiders or whatever it is, man. It just, it isn't. It's not capturing the money supply out there. So our job in crypto is to find the coins that capture the money supply. The best part is, we already know Bitcoin and Ethereum do, do a pretty good job, so we just have to lean on them, right? So that's why I want to just, that's why this video is called Don't Be Fooled, because you can see all these charts. Everything goes parabolic. And then you put it on a log chart, and sometimes, like United Health, even on a log chart, still goes parabolic. Still goes parabolic, man. Whoa, have you ever seen anything like this? Woo, to the moon. But it's really good to see, measure its true performance. You want to be dividing it by M2SL. I want to know how much did they print and how much did you capture? Because, okay, Bitcoin is hypersensitive to the money supply increase, you know? Like if they increase the money supply by 5%, Bitcoin's not going to go up by 5%. It's going to probably go up like a plus 100%. It might double, right? And Ethereum might go plus 150%. And some poopy coins might have some speculation and go up plus 500%. But you get the point. So that's what these companies out here, that's why a lot of stocks are just garbage. They've just been companies that kind of just sit around, barely capture the money supply going around. They're actually not doing good at their job. So whenever you see a chart doing a moonshot to the sky, make sure, divide up by on trading view, M2SL. You are going to see the truth. How is this thing performing, right? But one caveat, okay? One critical issue. Don't think it can't come down, right? It can come down. Yes, you, you can still do these, right? You can still go down. So how I use this knowledge, I don't say, oh, everything's gonna go up forever. You don't think like that. What you do is, you use that to sharpen your tools, sharpen your sword in the assets you believe in. You know, whether it's a stock, obviously we're in crypto, the coins we believe in, because the people who are not in, all they're gonna do is pull up a linear chart and go, you're an idiot, you're buying the top, you're buying the top, you're buying the top, you're a dumb dumb, you're a stupid idiot, you're never gonna make money. They're, that's what they're gonna be saying because they're actually speaking to themselves because they don't wanna get long because they have little sultana balls. All right, and they're soylent drinkers. So that's why you have to build conviction for yourself because I'm not gonna be around here forever. Eventually, you're gonna have to ride the bicycle by yourself. So this is how I navigate the world because I was a perma bear once too. And in that perma bear life, everything's high, man. Everything's high all the time at any point in time, okay? Everything's high. Yes, you're high, you're high, you're too 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 high, you know, you're too high, you're too, you're too high, man. See? I love you all, friends.